Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to make a really nice and amazing tomato sauce. I learned this recipe from my former Italian head chef um, and uh, I slightly modified it so he used pilati, tomatoes, pilati, Italian tomatoes, but I use fresh tomatoes and the result is not gonna be any worse. So um, you can use the sauce for many different purposes, but let's, uh, let's start. You will need uh, onions. Uh, you can take more onions, but I took less because they're expensive here. Uh, a lot of garlic. You need basil, but I don't have basil, uh, so instead I'm gonna use uh, this nice chili leaves. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of tomatoes. You wanna use some um, slightly, um, slightly, not the outdated, but let's say tomatoes that are a little bit uh, um, soft so that you can't use for like salads but you can use for the sauce because you know you're gonna cook it anyway so start by cutting and yeah I'm also gonna use uh, two tiny chili peppers but it's optional you don't have to you can just skip this so when you cut uh, in dices when you cut onions in dices you make these two cuts then you make these cuts along the line and then you just cut it like that. After we're, we're done with onions, uh, let's cut the garlic. Let's tr uh, try to make it slightly uh, smaller dices, like that. So if it's a big one, you can just make this cut, and like this. And just cut it like that. I started preheating the pan. I immediately pour oil without uh, waiting until it's hot because we're gonna saute the vegetables. We don't need hot pan for sauteing vegetables. We better use cold pan. And you can immediately put your onions and uh, garlic in there, constantly stirring, and I'm gonna finish with the rest of the garlic. So, I chop the pepper and add the, the, the rest of the garlic and let's add salt. I'm adding salt now so it makes uh, vegetables to produce water. When we saute the vegetables you want to salt it uh, from the beginning or in the middle because salt makes uh, the vegetables sweat and that's, what, that's exactly what you need while sauteing vegetables. Your goal is to reduce as much moisture as possible, uh, exposing them to the heat. Eventually you will get smaller chunks with the same amount of flavor that is enhanced by the heat. So that's why it's so important to saute vegetables for soups uh, uh, and any other dishes because you just give them an enhanced flavor. And you can try to make soup without uh, sauteing carrots and uh, onions and you know, and with them, you will see the difference. The difference is huge. Meanwhile, let's prepare the tomatoes. Remove the stem. Any impurities, any black spots, anything with a sharp paring knife. And put them on the black on the cutting board. The tomatoes are ready. And we cut them in huge chunks. And put them in the blender. Don't forget, forget to constantly stir your vegetables. You don't want them to burn. If you don't stir them, they will burn on one side and will be raw on the other side. So, constantly stir it. You can use this method if you can. If your other hand is busy. Then blend the tomatoes at medium speed. And just add it to the vegetables. They're already good enough. Be careful because uh, tomatoes are gonna splash all around, so you better reduce the heat.
And just like that. Bring it to a boil and uh, cook it for a few minutes. Be very careful, tomatoes tend to splash all around. Uh, so if you uh, make uh, the heat too high, make the temperature too high, it's gonna splash all around your kitchen. You don't want to have, you know, splashes on your walls. So just uh, bring it to a boil at medium heat and then reduce the heat and uh, cook it for a few minutes. Meanwhile, let's cut the herbs. Not too finely, just big chunks. And add them to the tomatoes. Let's cook it for about three minutes. Okay. It's been three minutes. Let's try it. Good. I added a little more salt. So there is a little bit of um, spiciness from these two chilies, but not too much. Just uh, just enough. This so this sauce is basically ready. You can remove the heat, and you can use the sauce for many for various dishes, including pasta, pizza. SP, you can use it as pizza sauce for pizzas. Um, you can use it for vegetables, um, various uh, kitchen dishes, whenever whatever you want. So. It's really good and simple. Try it at home. Uh, and if you don't have uh, fresh tomatoes or they're too expensive, that's that's okay. You can use canned tomatoes. Just make sure they're like good quality, not uh, very cheap. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching.